Hey there, tea lovers. Welcome back to another episode of Tea Time Chatter, where we spill the tea on, well, tea. Today we're talking about something really cool. Gunpowder tea. Ever heard of it? Oh yeah, definitely. It's got a pretty explosive name, right? Like you hear gunpowder tea and think, whoa, what's that about? Totally. And that's exactly why we're diving into it today. So buckle up, folks. We've got a lot to cover. From its history to how it's made, its benefits, side effects, and even some fun ways to enjoy it. All right, let's kick things off with the basics. What exactly is gunpowder tea? So gunpowder tea is a type of green tea that comes from China. It's called gunpowder because the leaves are rolled into tiny, tight pellets that look like grains of gunpowder. And these little pellets aren't just for show. Rolling the leaves helps preserve their flavor and freshness, right? Exactly. It's an ancient technique that dates back to the Tang Dynasty, which was from the 7th to 10th centuries. That's a long time ago. Wow, that's some serious history. Imagine drinking a tea that people have been enjoying for over a thousand years. I know, right? And it's still popular today, not just in China, but all over the world. Its unique shape and robust flavor have made it a favorite among tea lovers everywhere. So let's talk about how this tea is made. I'm guessing it's not as simple as just picking the leaves and rolling them up. You're right. There's a pretty meticulous process involved. First, the tea leaves are picked and withered to reduce their moisture content. Then they're steamed or pan-fired to stop oxidation, which helps them retain that lovely green color. And then comes the rolling, right? Yep, the leaves are rolled into those tiny pellets, either by hand or machine. This rolling process is really important because it helps lock in the flavor and aroma. Finally, the pellets are dried to remove any remaining moisture. That sounds like a lot of work, but the end result is totally worth it. I mean, those little pellets are packed with flavor. Absolutely. And speaking of flavor, let's dive into what gunpowder tea tastes like. Okay, so flavor-wise, what can people expect from a cup of gunpowder tea? Gunpowder tea has a bold, slightly smoky flavor with a hint of astringency. It's got this earthy, nutty undertone that's really unique. The pellets unfurl when steeped, releasing a rich, full-bodied taste. That sounds delicious. I bet it's a hit for people who like their tea with a bit of a kick. Definitely. It's got a robust flavor that stands out. And here's a pro tip for brewing. Use water that's just below boiling, around 175 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, or 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. Got it. And how long should you steep it? About two to three minutes should do the trick. You want to avoid oversteeping because that can make the tea bitter. And remember, use about one teaspoon of tea per cup of water. Sounds simple enough. Now let's move on to the fun part, the benefits of drinking gunpowder tea. So what's so great about gunpowder tea? Why should people consider adding it to their tea rotation? Oh, there are plenty of reasons. For starters, like other green teas, gunpowder tea is loaded with antioxidants, especially catechins. These antioxidants help protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals, which can lower the risk of chronic diseases. That's awesome. And I've heard it can help with weight loss too. You heard right. Gunpowder tea can boost metabolism and increase fat burning, thanks to its caffeine and catechin content. So drinking it as part of a balanced diet and regular exercise routine can definitely help with weight management. Nice. And what about heart health? I've read that green tea is good for your heart. It sure is. The antioxidants in gunpowder tea can help reduce bad cholesterol levels and improve blood flow, which can lower the risk of heart disease. Plus, regular consumption of green tea has been linked to lower blood pressure and better arterial function. Wow, that's impressive. Any other benefits we should know about? Absolutely. Gunpowder tea can also enhance brain function. The caffeine and L-theanine in the tea work together to improve brain function, including mood, reaction time, and memory. It's like a one-two punch for your brain. That sounds like a win-win. And I've heard it's good for your teeth too. Yep, the catechins in green tea can inhibit the growth of bacteria and viruses that cause throat infections, dental cavities, and other dental conditions. So drinking gunpowder tea regularly can contribute to better oral hygiene and fresher breath. All right, we've talked about the good stuff, but what about the potential side effects? Anything we should be cautious about? Good point. Like any tea that contains caffeine, gunpowder tea can cause side effects if consumed in excess. These can include insomnia, jitteriness, headaches, and increased heart rate. It's best to enjoy it in moderation, especially if you're sensitive to caffeine. Got it. Moderation is key. What about iron absorption? I've heard green tea can interfere with that. That's true. The catechins in green tea can interfere with the absorption of non-heme iron, which is the type of iron found in plant-based foods. So if you're at risk of iron deficiency or have anemia, it's a good idea to drink gunpowder tea between meals rather than with meals. Makes sense. And what about pregnant or breastfeeding women? They should definitely exercise caution. 
While moderate consumption is generally considered safe, excessive intake of caffeine can lead to complications like low birth weight and preterm birth. It's always best to consult with a healthcare provider if you have any concerns and any other side effects to be aware of. Some people might experience gastrointestinal discomfort from drinking green tea, like nausea, upset stomach, or acid reflux. If you have a sensitive stomach, start with a smaller amount of tea and see how your body reacts before gradually increasing your intake. Now that we've got the benefits and side effects covered, let's talk about some fun ways to enjoy gunpowder tea. Any suggestions? Oh, definitely. While gunpowder tea is traditionally brewed hot, it makes a fantastic iced tea as well. Just brew it as usual. Let it cool to room temperature and pour it over ice. You can add a slice of lemon or a sprig of mint for some extra flavor. That sounds refreshing. Any other creative ideas? For sure. Gunpowder tea pairs really well with other teas and ingredients. One popular blend is Moroccan mint tea, which combines gunpowder tea with fresh mint leaves and sugar. It's a refreshing and aromatic beverage that's especially popular in North Africa and the Middle East. I love Moroccan mint tea. It's such a great blend of flavors. Any other ways to use gunpowder tea? You can get really creative with it. Try using brewed gunpowder tea as a poaching liquid for fish or chicken. It adds a nice depth of flavor. You can also add it to broths and soups for an extra layer of taste. And don't forget baking. Tea-infused cookies or cakes can be a real treat. Those are some awesome ideas. Gunpowder tea seems pretty versatile. It really is. And experimenting with it can be a lot of fun. You can discover new flavors and combinations that you might not have thought of before. Well, I think we've covered just about everything there is to know about gunpowder tea. Any final thoughts? Just that gunpowder tea is a fascinating and versatile tea with a rich history and a lot of benefits. Whether you're a seasoned tea drinker or just starting out, it's definitely worth trying. Just remember to enjoy it in moderation and be mindful of any potential side effects. Great advice. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Tea Time Chatter. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We hope you found this episode both informative and fun. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, feel free to reach out to us on social media or through our website. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a review if you enjoyed the show. Until...